Hey, I'm Sarah. This is Abby, and welcome to Aswool Unlimited. If you're new here, I'm a scuba instructor, and I moved into my van in 2021 after losing my dive shop in Indonesia due to shutdowns. I've been on the road diving around the U.S., Canada, and Mexico for the last two years, teaching on YouTube along the way. All right, let's get into the video. Every van lifer can appreciate this. I had some friends in town who have a hotel and they left early this morning. So they're like, you should use all the amenities while we still have it until noon. So I am. Every time I come to a place like this, it feels too fancy for me. I park and I'm like, I feel like I shouldn't be here, which I guess technically I shouldn't, but here I am. Let's forget to take this off. It doesn't like the hot water. Monterey is a top dive destination in California due to its stunning kelp forests and cute seaside vibes. There are shore and boat dive sites for every level of diver, plus a world-renowned aquarium for those bad weather days when you need an ocean fix. Conditions can vary wildly from week to week, and honestly, even day to day and hour to hour. If you're planning a trip here, get updates on local conditions from a dive shop. <laughs> Today I'm checking out Monterey from a boat for the first time ever. We're going on a two tank dive with Monterey Bay Scuba. I have decided to go wetsuit this time around, so I have a feeling it's going to be a very cold day, but it's also gonna be beautiful. So this is the breakwater parking lot. When you arrive, you need to pay for parking, and then this would be your last bathroom stop. Nothing like preparing for a cold water dive in a wetsuit. Uh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. On this particular day, we went out to Pescadero Pinnacle, where we experienced decent currents and a persistent surge that had a couple of us feeling pretty seasick. Whenever you have a current and your boat has dropped an anchor by the dive site, you can use that line to help your descent. This will keep your group together and your dive site within reach. As with many boat diving sites around the world, there's usually more biodiversity and sheer volume of marine life hanging out. That being said, Monterey has been a hot spot for urchin barons, and at this dive site, we did see telltale signs of the beginnings of this imbalance in the ecosystem. I'll be going into detail about urchin barons and what conservation organizations like Reef Check are doing to help kelp forests in a future video, so watch out for that one.
This was the dive site of many, many eggs. Squid eggs, nudie eggs, and even a mermaid's purse, which is a shark or skate egg case. Lots of babies coming to the Breakwater Bay. Although we got dropped off by the boat, this is one of the most popular shore diving spots probably along the entire California coast. So if you're not able to work in a boat day during your visit to Monterey, definitely make time for this dive site along with a few other options depending on your skill level. The best thing about Monterey is the dive community. I met some of the best people here. Oh, it's even got a scuba tank in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. A big shout out to one of the kindest instructors I've ever met, Joel, who taught me so much about diving and teaching in Monterey. And Yen, the talented artist behind all the octopus paintings you'll find in dive shops in the area. My time in Monterey wouldn't have been as memorable without them. And I've linked their websites in the description below so you can be in touch with them too. Go ahead. <laughs> That's so good. Shower coming up. I feel like a brand new woman. I've been caught by housekeeping. I need to get out of here. I made it out. <laughs>